<laughs> Here it comes, guys! Look at that! Look at that! Isn't she lovely? Isn't she lovely? Yeah! What's up, guys? It's Jay! More than ever kill, and I'm back here on Destiny, live in the tower, and it's Friday! And we all know what Friday means on my motherfucking channel, right? <laughs> That's right! It's time for another visit from Jur, the Agent of the Nine, but before we get into what that actually means, I'm here on my dead orbit huntress. You see me all decked out, I'm back in black! And it's Christmas time! In Hollis, Queens, Mama's making a turkey and collard greens in Christmas time. Came a little bit early for Mac, even though I don't celebrate the holidays. <laughs> yes, RN Jesus has finally come through with my first dead orbit ship. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. You know I had to go over there and wait for it to come on in here. Ooh, I had to wait for it to come. But it didn't take that long. <laughs> I absolutely adore this ship. It is so tiny, it's so cute, and it kind of looks like a butt plug. So it has all three things going for it, and it is the final ship that I needed inside of my, uh, my Dead Orbit faction gear here. You see, I'm all decked out, looking all badass with my exotic Dead Orbit cloak. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> so yes, it's time for another visit from a man with a face full of dicks and a backpack full of exotics. That's right, Jure, the rare NPC that shows up in the tower once a week and he stays for the weekend and he leaves early Sunday morning. If you're in Australia, you already know what that means. Probably like Monday. <laughs> you guys are all like super far ahead advanced in our thing and I'm not really aware of your time zone. But yes, we have this motherfucker chilling here with some shit. Let's go ahead and see if he has anything good. Well, all right, DGR, he just spoiled it for us. Good fucking job. Although, hey, you have a lot of glowing nipples, baby. What's going on? <laughs> Like 13 glowing nipples. Somebody actually counted them on my video earlier yesterday. I was like, oh shit, that is a lot of glowing nipples. But let's see what we. The Armamentarium! Um. That's. That's. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that that's, that's pretty, like, recently added into the loop pool for you guys. That's. As is the Bones of EO and the Ram and the Might of Multi Tools. So we, we got a bunch of of brand new shit inside the game for you guys. So the armamentarium for you titans out there, this will gain an additional grenade. No, no, I don't want this in the game. <laughs> this is not good. The, the, the fucking titans have the same fireball grenade as the hunters that I love. I'll show you right here. I'm actually leveling up my Night Stalker. That's different. <laughs> yes, they, they have this incendiary grenade. I like to call it the fireball. It kind of reminds me of Mario when he's a pluck, pluck, pluck. You pluck it at people, right? Yeah, except for the Titans one shot the fucking hunters because we have less fucking health than they do. Well, armor, basically, but yeah, that's not good. <laughs> For those of you Titans, that's good. For us hunters out there, uh, don't buy this. You don't, this is not the chess piece you're looking for. <laughs> and we got the bows! I ate the bows! Let's go ahead and buy these. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't even have these yet, do I? No, I don't think I do. Or else I probably would have them And in... Well, I'm on my secondary character, but you know what? It's only 13 strange coins! I have 16 on this character, so let's just go ahead and buy that. We also have the ram for those of you guys out there that want to gain increased armor and all void walker melee attacks trigger lifesteal on hit. That basically means that you live forever because you get to fart on people from like three miles away with your goddamn stink fist. Ah, take your health. 
bitch. <laughs> and then we also have like the bonus of EOs. I was I forgot to tell you what this does. It allows you to jump an additional time. It says upgrades double jump with an additional jump, but if you use this with uh, triple jump, I'm pretty sure you can't get a quadruple jump. I'm not sure. I don't use uh, triple jump, but you gain an extra jump, and uh, it's pretty cool if you use it with uh, control, better control, because it allows you to just basically do you just fling yourself halfway across the map kind of like a titan does it's it's literally amazing with the bones of eos that's how i like to use it i i don't like the triple jumps i feel like when, when i have the triple jump i feel like i have to spam the jumps both at the same time and i lose the effectiveness of having that extra jump you see what i'm saying so uh i i personally don't like it unless i'm using it with better control which like i said allows you to just fling yourself <laughs> All the way across the map. And then we got the Mighty Multi Tool. Those of you guys that haven't bought this from the big ass iPad, go ahead and get this. This is an amazing piece of weaponry. It is one of the fastest rate of fire scout rifles in the game, has a pretty good impact. And also, we have Third Eye. Radar stays active while aiming down the sights. You also get lightweight for a boost to your agility. And this weapon boosts your movement speed and fires on a hair trigger when you're aiming down the sight. So if you're uh, using this with the Radiant Dance Boots, you pretty much just haul ass. You, you can almost strafe the same speed that a Warlock can sprint. It's, <laughs> it's kind of annoying for a lot of people. So uh, the, the only problem I have with the Mighty Multi-Tool and using the Booger Boots is I, I'm always in the air. Even though I'm not triple jumping, I'm always in the air. And Destiny's accuracy just goes to shit when you're in the air. So you're going to be using this to keep your ass on the ground. Or as, as my buddy over there, 402 Thunder, used to say in Advanced Warfare, keep the boots on the ground, fellas. Keep your boots on the ground. All right. And then we also have, oh, you got the heavy weapon engram. So those of you guys that wanted to go ahead and try to collect your gala horns from week, uh, from week one. <laughs> That's what I got in week two. But I'm sure it is my first exotic ever. I was like, oh my god, look, it's got a wolf's head with eagle's wings. I'm gonna buy it. But if you still don't have one and you want to add it to your collection, that's probably the only reason I could ever see anybody wanting to buy a legacy anger because they are 31 strange coins and that just seems like a waste. But then we also have Jure's Dirty Needle Exchange to get some clean needles, which will allow you to reroll the entered stats on your uh, exotics. So if you don't like these stats on your exotic armor, you can just come down here to the Twist of Fate, use some glass needles, and all this changes. However, your light level and uh, this, no nothing goes away on the outside here. Just this. All this changes. You get to try for something a little bit more specific to your subclass and build layout setup, whatever you want to call it, loadout. <laughs> and we also got three of coins, which have gained a little bit more usefulness now that they are working in the Crucible, Trials of Osiris. Uh, Sparrow recently seems to be giving out exotics for days. So uh, if you got a little bit of uh, strange coins left over from picking up some of this shit, Go ahead, pick this up, and use them on your Ultra Bolses, and also inside of uh, any PvP that you're playing. And we also have the Heavy Ammo, since I told you to skip that, just head over to Varrick's, and fairly certain you have some Ether Seeds laying around. This is my alternate character, so I do carry all my actual currency on my main character, so don't be like, Oh my god, man, you have, you have no Heavy, and you have no Ether Seeds, this is just... My secondary character. I want to just show off that dead orbit shit though, because <laughs> I got it and I'm happy. And uh, now I have all three faction ships right now. And I feel good about that. And as always, because if I don't mention it, I have mentioned it every week since this game has fucking come out. And I missed it one week. I forgot to say it one week. And everybody in the comments were like, Oh my god, Mac! What are those plasma drives for? What are those contrails for? Oh, you didn't tell me about them. Yeah, I, I, I know how you guys are. <laughs> you fucking crazy bastards. Alright, these are upgrades for blue rarity sparrows to turn them into legendary rarity sparrows. And 
They will give you the color of the cot trail denoted on the weapon card and they gain a little bit of extra usefulness. Now that people are running in the Sparrow Racing League and you can see other people's contrails, you want to be a little bit different, you might want to try to change it up a bit. I heard the green is absolutely awesome, so that would be my recommendation if you're just going to waste some strange coins on some of this shit. So go ahead and do that. And down here, just don't even. Don't even. <laughs> so yeah, sure has some pretty good shit today. Nobody's around. I'm, I'm so rotary. I'm so rotary. <laughs> so my name is Jay. What I have to kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch it. My motherfucking videos. If you guys are celebrating the holidays out there, I hope you have a safe and happy weekend. And uh, if you're not celebrating the holidays, I still hope you have a safe and happy weekend. I hope you guys have a good day every day, all day, or day. Now I mean, <laughs> my name's Jay. What an afterkill. Thanks for watching. And I'm gonna see you guys later. So rotary. <laughs>